All right, we are at uh, section uh, 35.3, images formed by refraction. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this uh, section because I don't really know that it has much uh, practical application. The thin lenses, the next section will be a, a little more uh, applicable. So let's uh, share what we have. Um, you know, this, this is a, you don't see this type of, uh, lens or uh, glass, uh, maybe a paperweight or something like that might uh, might uh, do something like this. But here's a image formed by refraction. Rays making small angles with the principal axis diverge from a point uh, object at zero and are refracted through the image at point I. Um, and you can see, you can follow the, the trace. We know that the, um, the, when N2 is greater than N1, such as in, in air uh, is one, N2 in glass is about 1.5. And um, so the, the angle, uh, the, the incident angle is, uh, greater than the refracted angle. Uh, we learned that in the last chapter. Um, so they start off right with a quiz. In the figure, what happens to the image point uh, I as the object O is moved to the right from very far away to very close to the refracting surface? Now, I had a hard time with this, understanding it intuitively. I mean, I, I understand, but uh, I'm just gonna give you the answers. It, it, it's D. It starts off to the right, and at some position of O, I moves to the left of the surface. And to me, that's not intuitive. So I went ahead and plotted. Uh, uh, let me go ahead. I took this equation here that they end up giving you, uh, the refraction uh, N1 over the P, the object distance, plus N2, uh, the uh, refractive index of the medium, the slower medium over Q, uh, which is the image distance, is equal to N2 minus N1 over R, where R is the radius. So I took that equation, I solved for Q, and I put it into a spreadsheet, and, and sure enough, uh, you know, plotted it out, and sure enough, it does uh, as you, uh, what we have here, N1 is equal to, uh, air, uh, 1.0, uh, N2 is equal to 1.5 uh, glass, and R is equal to uh, 10 centimeters, 0.1 meters. So the radius is, is uh, 10 centimeters. And I varied the uh, P, uh, the object distance, uh, starting from one meter, uh, and plotted what what the image distance would be. So at one meter, it's you know like 0.4 something. And as you as you uh, minimize the the object distance, uh, it does it does grow. And then it has this reversal. As a matter of fact, if you use it, if you use a a um, uh, object distance of 0.2, it 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 blows up and it, it gives you a divide by zero. Uh, but then once you get past that, you get, uh, you get this large image and then it starts getting smaller again. And so you can see the graph. And the only thing I can liken this to is if you have a, a shaving mirror or makeup mirror that is concave, you know, there's a point where you, you, you can see your face uh, magnified. And as you back up, it, it just kind of gets blurry. Uh, and then when you back up, your your image is inverted. And that's, that blurry part is the only thing I can sort of imagine it occurs here uh, where, it, where it wants to go to infinity on, on either side, really. So I proved it to myself that yes, indeed, it starts off to the right. And at some position of O, I moves to the left of the surface. Um, so I did confirm that this quiz question is right. I'm not going to ask you this on a, on a quiz. It's kind of confusing. So we continue on, and, and I'll just, you know, they use some, some geometric uh, uh, 
similarities and but the bottom line is this is the uh the equation that they use n n1 uh over p the object distance plus n2 uh, over q the image distance equals the difference of the um in indices of refraction n2 minus n1 over the radius uh, and the magnification is equal to minus n1 q over n2 p okay uh and then we have a similar table uh for refracting services object location p uh, object location image location and image height and uh radius these are all positive when the object is in front of the surface uh, it's a real object uh, uh, image is in back of the surface uh, it's a real image uh, image is upright um, and the center of curvature is in the back of the surface uh, so th those are all of these quantities would be positive when they're ne they're negative when the object is in back of the surface virtual object uh, images in front of the surface virtual image and images inverted and the center of curvature is in the front of the surface so that would actually kind of be a concave uh, uh, a concave piece of glass uh, kind of a a bowl um, and that's the equation n n1 over p plus n2 over q equals n2 minus n1 over r that's the equation that i use solving for q to come up with this graph, graph that I came up with here. Okay, let's continue on. And now, um, let's see uh, the uh, the image due to the, due to the surface is real, so i is to the right of the surface, and the image due to the surface is virtual, so i is to the left of the surface. Um, again, these I don't see these as as very practical. Um, it will go on to the flat reflecting surfaces, and uh, the only thing I, the only, it would, certainly this is doable in water, but if you have glass, if you, I remember there used to be these little uh, kind of like glass figurines that laser, lasers would uh, induce images on it, um, and you, you could see the, I remember seeing like the Statue of Liberty or an eagle or those types of things it's where the image is inside a piece of glass that might apply here uh, but again I'm not sure the applicability of this um, and the, they do go through the same table uh, and you can study those if you want I'm not going to spend much time I want to get on to the uh, oh let's do the the quiz um, in the figure what happens to the image point I as the object point uh, o moves toward the right-hand surface of the material uh, of, uh, of index of refraction N1. And the answer is A. It always remains uh, between O and the surface, arriving at the surface just as O does. Um, okay, now the next one would probably be a little more applicable lenses, uh, images formed by thin lenses.